All right, our next presentation is going to be, we're, we've got a little bit of a break as far as presentations up here, but we also, again, have a lot of the vendors, and I was wandering around to some of the side rooms that are here to my left, and uh, there's uh, the music, the travel that Jerry mentioned uh, right at the top of our program, and I went in there, and there's, gosh, like about 15, 20 people in there. Uh, and so there's a, a lot of activities that are going on, not just here on the main stage. Uh, so we're going to be uh, coming up with our next presentation. I just need to look at the timeline here. It is going to be at... It's just so, so full of activities here. I think our, our next one's not until about uh, 11 o'clock. And uh, so we're going to be having one more, pre uh, or a couple more presentations. Next one's at 11, but please feel free to visit with the vendors. I'm going to be doing that as well. I'm probably going to take a sneak peek at what's going on in the hallway. So we'll see you back in here at 11, but once again, please visit. And Reggie, we're going to go traveling. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go visit with some of, some of the vendors here and some of the sponsors. All right. How are we doing? Which one should I use, this one or...? I think I'll use this one. All right. So as we wander through here, uh, we have uh, quite a few of the sponsors. I wanted to go and visit uh, some of the gold sponsors first. They might be busy for all I know, but uh, we're, I think we're going to start. St. Francis is busy. We're going to start with Queens. Queens uh, has the Parkinson's and Movement Disorder Center at the Queens Medical Center, Neuroscience Institute, and uh, one of the gold sponsors. Who wants to do the talking? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, introduce yourself and uh, uh, who am I talking to? Yes. Hi. I, my name is Michiko Bruno. I'm one of the neurologists at Queen's Medical Center. Um, we formed a Parkinson Disease and Movement Disorder Center a few years ago, and our hope is to have a team approach, patient-oriented, individualized care with a great team. So I just want to introduce my team, Emma. She is our research coordinator, and Nicole, she's helping us setting up and marketing. And Dr. Gao is somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Morita and Brittany, she couldn't make it today, but we have a great team. So please visit our booth. Yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, one, one, one thing, what is the most frequent question, or what, what seems to be the highest low thing of interest here or that you've had with people visiting today? So far, I guess uh, let me, yeah, let me just uh, move over here. Nicole? Actually, we've had a lot of um, people come through looking for our specialists and wanting to know and understand what they do and how can they get appointments. So that's pretty much what we've been experiencing here at our booth today. Well, we're glad that you could be here. So once again, Queen's Health, uh, the Queen's Health Systems, always have to remember the the part of it. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Let's uh, come over to St. Francis Healthcare System. And good morning, another one of our gold sponsors. And uh, it, of course, St. Francis, a lot of you are familiar. It is a Catholic healthcare system in Hawaii, sponsored by the Sisters of St. Francis. Uh, introduce yourself. Tell us why you're here. Hi, I'm Raya Nakamoto. Um, I work with St. Francis, and I'm here to just educate people about the different programs that St. Francis has to offer. What are some of the most, uh, uh, shall we say, popular or necessary programs that St. Francis has for people with Parkinson's? Well, um, we have our, our Care Plus program. That is a program that is geared to assist caregivers. Um, and it basically just uh, links you up with a social worker that will help to navigate the community and find resources that would be um, useful. For those people who are participating online, what's the best way to uh, maybe get more information? Um, number, call 547-6500. And just ask about Care Plus and, and any of the programs that St. Francis offers. All right, so once again, 808-547-6500. That is the number to call if you need more information. So, yeah, come over and visit. All right, thanks so much. That is the St. Francis Healthcare System. We need to travel. Reggie, walk with me. We are going to kind of hopscotch our way over 
And let's see if we can uh, find some of the, the there, there's actually a line here, I think. This is Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Um, they've, they've got people who are asking questions and, and there's a little bit of a line here. But uh, Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience has the Parkinson's Disease Center and Parkinson's Research Unit. It's also a gold sponsor. The, the Z Center and Parkinson's Research Unit are one of Hawaii's leading providers of Parkinson's care and a global leader in research and advancing innovations in Parkinson's disease. And you can visit them online at hawaiineuroscience.com. And we will be talking with them a little bit later. I wanted to, um, and it's, it's actually a good thing that uh, people are busy talking. I wanted to talk, we're, we'll, we'll be getting to everybody. Don't worry, we'll, we're, we're getting to everyone. This is a, the, the really interesting one. I wanted to talk to Dr. Peter Washington. Uh, Professor Peter Washington from the Department of Information and Computer Sciences because um, Jerry mentioned this earlier and this is the computer program that could uh, uh, find or at least detect early onset of Parkinson's disease. So uh, tell me more about that and I think you've, you've got the student here too, right? Yeah, he's, he's online. Um, very talented high school student, built the website. Uh, so the website URL is tinyurl.com slash pdtests1 and it just takes five minutes of your time if you have Parkinson's if you don't have Parkinson's either way it helps us because we're trying to build an AI to detect Parkinson's early any words shoe bomb um yeah so basically like it's a really short test thing where like just go on it and then like it tests uh your hand movements and stuff like that like moving your mouse along a specific path and just like uh tapping specific keys to like give us information about how like your uh body is like able to move and like how it differs from a person with parkinson's to a person without parkinson's how did you get the idea to develop this shiba um so basically i've been volunteering with like uh organizations that like help uh parkinson's disease people and then i like noticed how like they were being affected by the disease. And then like, I used to work on side projects like websites like these, and then I was like, maybe I could combine them and then make something that like could uh, be useful to Parkinson's disease people. And with uh, Dr. Washington, I was able to like make a thing and then now we can use the data we get from this to like process it and then create a detection system. All right, uh, do me a favor, Sh shout out to your high school. Um, Lundbrook High School. All right, cool. Um, and like you said, it's tidyurl.com slash pdtests1. So anybody at home can try this? Yes, anyone around the world at home. Uh, it just takes five minutes of your time. You don't have to give any personal information that's identifiable. You just give your name, age, gender, and then you take the five-minute test, and that's all. All right. And then at the end of the test, it'll tell you whether or not you may you know, be so developing? Not yet, that's what we're trying to build, but the data will help us develop such a test. All right, cool, Dr. Washington, and also uh, <laughs> Shibam, thank you so much for being with us, even virtually. Uh, uh, I, I, I do the weather at one of the TV stations in town. What's the weather like over there? It's sunny, it's pretty nice. All right, cool, <laughs> all right, thanks. Thanks so much, Dr. Peter Washington and uh, Shibam. Let's see, we're, we're, we're making our way through the various vendors and well, let's, since we're here, let's talk to Tom at <laughs> Accorda Therapeutics. How you doing, Tom? Very good, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so so what, uh, what do we have here? What, what can people visiting you uh, expect to uh, find? This offers 10 minute relief of off episodes of Parkinson's disease. About 90% of patients with Parkinson's after about a year experience perhaps as much as one episode a day. So if they have to take a pill, it's going to take their pill about maybe an hour, hour and a half to resolve their current symptoms. So what they really want is something that works very rapidly. So in Bresia, it is an inhalable powder. And here's how it works. So patients will remove the mouthpiece they will put in a capsule that has levodopa powder and whoops, they will hear a distinct click. That means it's engaged and ready to be inhaled. 
patients would take a sip of water because after all it is a powder, so that might clear their throat and perhaps prevent cough. So here it goes. They'd hold their breath for about 10 seconds. And the main thing is that the patients realize, number one, do not swallow the capsules. That defeats the whole point. They only have to take it when they need it. And it does take two inhalations for effective dosing. And once they've done that, very often uh, the onset is 10 minutes, in as little as 10 minutes, actually, where it's going, it could work for their symptoms. All right. And for those who are joining us online, what's the best way to find more information? Go to Inbresia.com. It's all right there, and they have excellent testimonials of patients who have been taking Embresia for the past few years and how it's changed their lives with their disease state of Parkinson's. Okay, and if you want to spell Embresia, it's I-N-B-R-I-J-A.com, as you can see there if you're online. So, Embresia.com. Uh, Tom, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. But it's been my pleasure. Thank you again. Alrighty, uh, Tom from Accorda. Uh, we're going to be taking a quick break here uh, from online, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes with more from the Hawaii Parkinson's Association Symposium 2023.